In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and merciful. We have all gathered here to remember Karbala, which signifies a lesson that human beings should never submit to tyranny, oppression, and falsehood. Hussein is a symbol, a school, and a distinctly unique spiritual political, religious, revolutionary, awakening movement in the history of mankind. To establish justice, equality, peace, respect, morale and values. Who actually is Imam Sayyidah? What is the background of this exceptionally unique and great personality. Imam Hussain alayhi salam is not a property of Muslim that they will follow him and learn from him. He is a lesson for the whole universe. This prominent man of history, the legend of Apex, the word of pride and honor, the grandson of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And son of Imam Ali alayhi salatu wa salam, Muhammad wa Muhammad. About whom George Jordak, a Christian scholar, wrote book, Voice of Human Justice, a host of social, political, and religious factors, made Imam Hussain alayhi salam rise to challenge Yazid. A key factor was the violation of the principles upon which Islamic rule is based. The main principle Imam Hussain alayhi salam desired to keep alive there. Imam Hussain alayhi salam had not intention of fight and tried to avoid it. That is why he left Medina and went to Mecca to perform pilgrimage. When he learned that Yazid wanted to kill him in the holy city of Mecca, where no bloodshed is permitted, he decided to leave the city to protect the dignity and respect of Mecca. In his journey, Imam Hussain alayhi salam was not alone. His brothers, nephews, children, women, wife, sisters, and all other family members accompanied him in his journey. During his journey, he was joined by a non-Muslim family, Wahhabi Kalbi, his wife and his mother, because it was a non-violent movement. They reached Karbala, where the army of Yazid brutally assassinated the family of Imam Hussain alayhi salatu The martyrs of Karbala were all age of all age group, Ali Azbar, who was only six months on and Muhammad, seven and eight years old. Hazrat Qasim, 14 years old. Ali Akbar, 18 years old. And Habib ibn Mawahi, 72 years old. On reaching Karbala, Imam Sayyid al-Islam purchased the land. But Yazid's army surrounded him and forced him to remove.
their tents on the bank of the river. The same Hussein who provided them water when they were thirsty. The same Hussein that provided and proved the world what humility is. But when he and his people were forbidden from water, no one from Yazid Abi remembered the favor among sinners. In return, he faced trouble, martyrdom, and disrespect of women and kids. In Karbala, clouds of blood rain and generation of martyrs. And revolutionaries develop the sound of fearless voice of Imam Hussain Islam is filled. He goes in the valley of thought and ringing in the ears of time. It is a storm that he made and shake the tyrant people. It awakens free consciousness and spirit within the man, the spirit of revolution and fall. And reform his voices is being going in the ear of mankind. By Allah, I will never give you my hand like a man who has been humiliated, nor will I be like a slave. Relieving Imam Hussain al Islam letter, arguments, sermons, and correspondence, along with this political sermon, has been conveyed us the figures and the account attesting the decline of social, moral, and moral and gap, the yawn between people and divine value. Imam Hussain al Islam was preserving the message of previous reforms and messenger like Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in that study of the era would maintain that uprising of Imam Hussain was a historical necessity. The declining situation generated the motivation that led to the war. Imam Hussain Islam was left with no choice except rising against all praise. As he said, I am not living to kill anyone or create mischief or oppress anyone, but to reform the Ummah by following the tradition of my grandfather and father by enjoying good and fortunate people. Karbala is a lesson for mankind. Karbala is the garden of sacrifice. Karbala is the path of God, path of truth, justice, kindness, respect, and humility. Karbala is the path of Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, and Muhammad Mustafa, sallallahu alayhi wa in the horizon of this world. Its anguish can never be destroyed from the conscience of free men by the collective conspiracy of tyrants. I would like to narrate an incident which shows the character of Imam Hussain al Islam and his family. Hassan ibn Nabi, who killed the son of Imam Hussain who was only 18 years old. When he was in danger and his enemies wanted to kill him, he seemed refuge from Imam Zan Abin al Islam. Hasim had his face covered so that Imam would not be able to recognize him. Imam Zan Abin was the elder son of Imam Zan al Islam who was sick during the tragedy of Karbala. He welcomed him and treated him with respect and gave him refuge for the night. Next morning, before leaving, Hasim said, I think you did not recognize me. Imam replied, How can I forget the person who killed my brother? I will recognize. But I was your guest at that time, and now you are mine. That was your way of treating. Now this is my way of treatment. Imam provided him with protection, food, money, and passport. 
Here we are talking about patience, tolerance, forgiveness, and respect of one another. This was the level of Imam Hussain and his family. Today, the world needs these teachings to be implemented for the interest of the entire humanity and to make this world peaceful and liberal. I conclude my speech with the words of Imam when he addresses follow so we can understand his aim and objective. No doubt you are aware of the gravity of this situation which you are witnessing yourselves here and now. Life has certainly changed disguises and its good has gone ever. This has continued till the remaining good in it. Amount to this, amount to the thin sediment at the bottom of drinking defense. Life is a mean food, like pasture, covered with damp grass. Do you not see that the truth is not followed? And falsehood not discouraged. The faithful must certainly desire to meet his law righteousness. I do not dream death other than the murderer and life among the unjust other than suffering and boredom. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.